Hi, this is Carol with CarolJoes.com. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make a simple chain necklace. It's one of the basics that I use when I make jewelry. And I just want to be able to share my love of jewelry making and running my jewelry business and accessory business with you. And that's what this channel is all about. If you like it, go down below and hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I have new videos uploaded. So for today's tutorial, you will need chain, and this is just a simple chain that you use. I buy in bulk on a spool. The spool usually has 50 or 100 meters of chain, so there's a lot of chain in there. You will need two six millimeter split rings and around a 12, you can go with 10 or 14 millimeter lobster clasp. Always check your lobster clasp to make sure it springs so that you don't get all done and then go, oh crap, it didn't work. For tools, you'll need a ruler. My ruler is down below because the light for some reason is really shining on the ruler today. So I've got a ruler. I have two flat nose pliers that do not have any grooves on them. They're just the smooth ones. And I also have a split ring tool. This isn't a necessity, but I love it. It saves my nails for when you want to open up the split ring. So I'm going to open the split ring first. So you go ahead and you find the end of your split ring. Split ring is like the big uh, key rings that you put your keys on, only it's a little bit smaller here for jewelry. So you go ahead and you open it up and you see how it opens it up and you've got that gap there that you didn't have to use your thumb for. And then you take the hole that is on, oh, I'm sorry, that's really, there you go. The hole that is on the lobster clasp and just thread that on to that opening. And it isn't always the easiest when you're trying to do it on camera. So then I also then grab my flat nose tool and just spin it around to make it easier to grab a hold of. And then you'll hear when it's all done. And then it just wiggles on there. So that's what you've made. Very simple. Then you're going to take an end of your uh, chain and in the chain somewhere, you just got to feel all the way around, but you'll feel like an opening. Most chain has this opening so that you just open it up. Whenever you're opening up anything with, um, whether it be a jump ring, your chain or whatever, you do not want to pull it this way because that will distort your oval or your circle. You always want to take the two tools and do it, open it this way. Slide that on. Close it up. Make sure it's closed all the way up there nice and tight. You don't want to distort your oval, but you want to make sure your oval is closed so that everything stays intact. Then you measure out 18 inches because that's what I usually make my necklaces. You can make them 20. You can make them 22. It's whatever length you want to make when you're making it for yourself. And then once again, find that opening for the chain. And that's really just a touch that you'll feel it. Open this up again. Take off the chain from the spool. Grab a hold of that split ring and put it on there. See how it just dangles in there? Let's go ahead and put that in there and then close it up. And you have now just made a chain. You can, um, whoops, I did not get that hooked on there. See? This is what happens when you make jewelry. You gotta make sure you've got it in there hooked and closed. I did not, I'm gonna show you so you know the mistake and not make it. You see how that's still open right there? You don't want that opened or you're gonna lose your necklace just like I did. So let's once again try that. Close it up tight. And there. Now you see it's all closed. I'll show you what it looks like close. See, it's all closed up. You can't see any openings. So now we're good. And that's how you, you make a chain. 
I hope that, you know, by showing you what could happen will help you out and not discourage you. And how you can just make sure you just get it right. Everybody makes boo-boos. We're not all perfect. And that I just want you to see you can just keep going and get it completed. Um, the chains are going to be available at caroljoes.com if you do not want to make one. I sell them in 18, 20, and 22 inch lengths. But you can take from this tutorial and go out and buy your own chain. You can get something not so much in bulk if you want from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I've seen it both there. I have not seen this chain at Joann's. So, you know, go to your local craft store if you have one and see if you can find it and just get the split rings and the lobster clasps and then go ahead and start making jewelry. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, once again, go down below and subscribe and click on that notification bell to get notified of when I upload other videos. Have a wonderful day.